Hi everyone, Nat here from Living Entertainment. Today we're doing a video on all the different levels of hi-fi gear. I imagine that some of you are a little bit lost in this thing called hi-fi. Where do you start? What goes with what? Am I spending too little? And am I spending too much? Well, we're gonna run you through the different levels here and we'll see which one suits you, your budget and your wants and needs. So let's get started. Let's start with this thing. It's a tiny Bluetooth speaker. No one should use these things. It does no justice to the music or the artist's intent. So let's start with getting rid of this. Now the true starting point. This is a standalone multi-room audio speaker. So what does that mean? Well, it's got a speaker built into it, an amplifier built into it, and a streamer built into it. This is by far the easiest and cheapest way you can get a decent quality sound in your house. The added benefits of a product like this one, and particularly the Sonos Move, is that you can actually pick this product up and take it around the house and play your music wherever your Wi-Fi is. But if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can put it onto Bluetooth and play it anywhere you want really, even the beach or by the pool or something like that. Although the sound is very good, it's not a true hi-fi product. It's certainly not going to recreate that stereo image that some of you may lust after. But if you're just after a decent quality sound or background music to be on whilst you're doing other things, this could be a good product for you. Now moving on to the next product. This one's an all-in-one. Now what that actually means is that it's got an amplifier, a CD player, a tuner, and maybe some of them have got Bluetooth built in as well. Now, some of the main advantages to going with an all-in-one is, well, firstly, obviously, it's space saving. You don't have a bunch of boxes stacked up. And secondly, it's pretty cost-effective as well. This is gonna give you stereo sound. It's gonna give you a little bit more separation in your instruments, a little bit better through the mid-range and highs, but it's still a compromise when it comes to true hi-fi or high fidelity, if you like. This product is perfect for somebody that wants to play those traditional formats or listen to the radio and get a good dollop of that hi-fi sound. Now, this one is somewhere in between your traditional hi-fi system and your all-in-one system. What it is, is an active set of bookshelf speakers. Now, what that means is that you have your speakers in the front here and an amplifier built into the back. Now, the main advantage of doing this is that the engineers, when they're developing this product, can precisely tune both the speakers and the amplifier to work perfectly together. So that takes all the guesswork out of it for you. If you want a product you can take home, plug in and you know it's gonna sound good, active speakers are probably your best bet. And best of all, you've made your first step into real hi-fi sound. These things give you awesome separation, really nice highs and good bass for their size. Now, depending on what generation you're from, this is either gonna look somewhat familiar or somewhat alien. This is the true hi-fi component-based stereo system. So what is a component-based hi-fi system? Well, it's simply where you separate the components out from one another. So you're gonna have a separate CD player, a separate streamer, maybe a separate turntable, and a separate amplifier, and obviously a separate set of speakers. Now, the main advantage to this is that by separating them out, you can allow each device to do exactly what it was designed for and nothing else. Now that's gonna give you greater performance per device. Now, the big disadvantage by going to a true component-based hi-fi system is the cost. Each one of those boxes you're buying, you're buying a separate case, a separate power supply. Right throughout each one of those items, there's a separate individual cost. However, you are rewarded with excellent sound quality. It is by far the best way to go when you step up above the active speaker level. This is what your real enthusiasts want to hear their music back from. If you really want to hear the artist's intent, pick out the details in the music, hear things you haven't heard before, you want a proper component-based hi-fi system. Well, folks, I know this was a brief overview, but if there was something in this product range that you'd like to know a little bit more about, feel free to get in touch with us via our socials, online, if you're in Australia, give us a call, or simply put a comment below. Once again, thank you for watching, and bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us by giving us a like and subscribe, along with hitting the notification bell. You can also follow us on our Facebook and Instagram. Until next time.
still works. <laughs> <laughs>